friends. What a strong relationship it is. Having a companion is undoubtedly a blessing for some, especially when you provide them with a positive atmosphere of hope, safety, and inclusion. But some simply don't want to connect with others. And I see you hiding in the corner there, folks. It's almost the same as African cichlids. These creatures, like humans, require the assistance of a group or pack, a companion that can be their lifelong friend or even a potential breeding partner. As much as you like introducing new species to your fish, I recommend you thoroughly research the suitable tank mates for these cute fellas. Wait, what? You're feeling too lazy to do your own research? No problem! If you stick with us until the end of this video, the top seven ideal African cichlid tank mates, we can save you from making the wrong decision. We have already featured the African cichlids in our previous video. You can check it out on our YouTube channel or in the posted card above. But if you need help remembering, I'll show you some features of these fish. African cichlids originate from some of the oldest freshwater lakes in the world, including Lake Tanganyika, Lake Malawi, and Lake Victoria. Many of the species in these African lakes have undergone divergent evolution over millions of years. This implies that one common ancestor evolved and adapted to different depths, parameters, and conditions within these ecosystems to create new species. There are roughly 2,500 known members of the Cichlidae family worldwide, with many yet to be named and discovered. This only means that the reign of the African cichlid tank is unstoppable in the fish keeping industry. However, you must note the most common things when stocking a tank for this big and beautiful fish, like setting up a 55 gallon tank with good filtration since it can grow in great sizes. Plus, you might be interested in adding some variety to the species inside. The decoration is not a big deal for plain human beings, but you can still add minimal yet sturdy decor with natural rocks, driftwood, and clay pots as their shelter. Using a bare bottom or a crushed coral substrate to boost pH levels, pH boosting powders, liquids, or any calcium carbonate substrate to replicate the basic water parameters that this stagey fish needs is also advisable. And voila! If your tank is already set up and cycled, you can add some new tank mates for your African cichlid babies. But whoa, daddy chill. You can't just add any fish you want. There are things you must consider when keeping either cichlid tank mates or other species in the same tank as your African cichlids. To begin with, keeping species other than African cichlids is always risky due to this fish's natural aggression. That's why its aggression will determine which tank mates do and do not work. Second, African cichlids can grow larger than expected and are territorial. A bare minimum tank size of 55 gallons with a 75 gallon tank setup that will provide much more comfortable space may or may not still be enough due to its size and aggression, which could limit the number of potential tank mates. Third, if you plan to keep tank mates outside the Cichlidae family, having an aquarium of at least 125 gallons is recommended. The larger the tank size, the safer it gets. And finally, consider the African cichlids natural habitat. In general, African cichlids prefer hard, basic water parameters. This contrasts with other freshwater tropical fish from soft, acidic environments, so always keep that in mind. If you're ready to know the seven potential tank mates for your African cichlids, be sure to like this video first and smash that subscribe button for the best informative discussions about the fish keeping hobby. Returning to our subject, let's start with the seven tank mates you should consider adding to your African cichlids tank. First and foremost, you can never go wrong with other African cichlids. It is prevalent to keep species-only tanks featuring peacock cichlids, hap cichlids, or mbuna cichlids. However, there are still a few considerations when putting different species together. There are too many differences between African cichlids to say they are all compatible. The key differences between these fish are size, activity, and aggression. Some fish stay relatively still while others zoom around the tank. Though all cichlids are aggressive, some actively seek out fights while others wait to defend their territories. A typical 55-gallon cichlid aquarium setup can hold about 10 to 15 cichlids. Some of the most popular ones are from the following genera that you can see on your screen. Many combinations do and do not work. Tank mates should be researched thoroughly and added together for the best chances of success. It also helps to pick fish that are generally the same size and different colors. Second, you will get bejeweled by the jewel cichlid. This is the right choice if you're looking for the most attractive cichlid. 
These fish are bright red with tiny iridescent blue flecks, but unfortunately, they're not compatible with most other endemic species. This is because these otherwise semi-aggressive fish turn into overly aggressive fish whenever they spawn. There is some debate about whether or not jewel cichlids should be kept with other cichlids. However, hobbyists have found success keeping jewel cichlids in the same tank with more aggressive African cichlids, like Imbuna species. The Paratilapia polini is the third. Paratilapia polini is a relatively peaceful species of East African cichlid. These speckled near-black fish are endangered and the last remaining species of their genus. Paratilapia polini are large fish, mainly piscivores in the wild, meaning that most of their diet is made up of smaller fish. However, as long as tank mates cannot easily fit into the mouth of your Paratilapia polini, they should be fine with other African cichlids. Going for our number four spot, meet the Cynodontis catfish. These peaceful catfish are found in Central and West African ecosystems and are ideal as they come from the same ecosystems as cichlids, but at different depths. Cynodontis catfish live on the bottom, while cichlids stay higher in the water column. In the aquarium, these fish must be given plenty of hiding places and prefer to be in small shoals or at least three or four. You can also try these popular catfish species for your African cichlid aquarium. Fifth on the list is the vibrantly colored rainbow fish. Rainbow fish are large, fast, peaceful fish that can easily outmaneuver or intimidate a cichlid in a school with others. Their size, speed, and tolerance to more basic water conditions make rainbow fish a great potential tank mate for African cichlids. As a dither fish, rainbow fish can lessen aggression and encourage natural behavior for cichlids. However, not all rainbow fish can be tank mates for African cichlids. If you're willing to add this fish to your tank, the Bozeman's rainbow fish is the best pick. The number six spot goes to this South American fish named the Pleco fish. Plecos are armored fish that spend their time on the substrate floor, hiding under rocks and branches. While these fish have excellent camouflage, chosen Plecos should still be several inches long to defend themselves from incredibly aggressive cichlids. These fish have been bred in the aquarium to endure various water parameters, including those harder and more basic ones preferred by African cichlids, such as the common pleco and bristlenose species. The last fish on our list is the red tail shark. Red tail sharks are often misidentified as calmer and more peaceful rainbow sharks that can easily find cover in sheltered area from predators. But take red tail sharks seriously because they're likely to fight back. These freshwater sharks are territorial and have been successfully kept with some of the less aggressive species of African cichlids. The only problem is that red-tailed sharks can't tolerate a high pH level due to their natural habitat of detritus-rich freshwater rivers and streams. To make these two work as tank mates, the pH must stay in the red-tailed shark's upper range and the African cichlids lower range at about 7.5. Now that we're done with the list of potential tank mates for your African cichlids, there's still one thing you should know. Most community freshwater fish are incompatible with African cichlid species due to differences in preferred water parameters and aggression levels. Most freshwater fish available in the aquarium trade originated where water is very soft and acidic, which differs from the higher hardness and pH levels preferred by African cichlids. Cichlids come from a very open and rocky terrain. Freshwater fish like to hide in and around vegetation. Cichlids establish territories they will defend to the death, especially during spawning periods. This trait is far from that of freshwater fish, which rely on schooling behaviors to keep them safe from predators instead of being actively aggressive. Let's tackle some of the fish that catch your eye but might be incompatible with your cichlids. First, the goldfish. Goldfish cannot be kept with tropical fish, including African cichlids, due to their preference for low temperatures and high waste output. On top of that, Many fancy goldfish are poor swimmers that would quickly get beat up by an African cichlid. Second, the koi fish. For the same reasons, koi are cold water fish that need low temperatures and good filtration due to their high waste output. Due to their size and activity level, they are best kept in a pond setting and avoided in an African cichlid tank. Third, the Corydoras catfish. Corydoras are primarily found in the South American blackwater ecosystems. In addition to their preference for softer and acidic water, they also prefer lower water temperatures and compatible with cichlids. Corydoras are also relatively small, making them easy to eat for larger fish despite being kept in big schools. 
Lastly, the American cichlids. While many cichlids are native to Africa, South and Central America offer a different selection of fish. Many South American cichlids, especially dwarf cichlids, can be kept with other freshwater species due to their generally peaceful demeanors. As species from South America, these fish also prefer different water parameters from their African counterparts. While it is usually hard to keep African and South American cichlids together, it's actually possible for expert cichlid keepers to do so. You might ask, hmm, can I mix angelfish with my cichlids since they are also a type of them? The answer is no. Angelfish are moderately complex fish due to their long fins and slow movement. However, due to significant differences in behavior and temperament, African cichlids are not suitable tank baits for the angelfish. Some hobbyists have had success keeping angelfish with other South American cichlids, and learning from them might be your best choice. African cichlids genuinely reflect the beauty that Africa possesses. From its colorful appearance to the toughness of its personality when facing predators, it shines in the aquarium. Even then, some African cichlids have problems with each other, which can lead to a gruesome death. But fortunate are the new fish keepers of this generation. We now know what kind of tank mates are compatible with these remarkable species inside an aquarium. If you're planning to get an African cichlid but have no idea how to take care of it, you can check out our YouTube channel and click on the video titled, Everything You Need to Know About African Cichlids. Also, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Keepers of fish, until then.